Hello, my name is Ming Kun Chang. I am the analyst of Cobas Asset Management. I'm based in Shanghai, China. Today, I'd like to talk on three topics. Number one, my experiences regarding coronavirus in China. Number two, the nature gas demand in Asia. And lastly, I'd like to touch upon Cobas investment in Asia. Virus started outbreak in January and got very serious in February. During that time, people stayed at home all days and stores were all closed. New cases of infection and death were reported on TV news every day. I think it's a human nature that people could be a little bit depressed, panic, and think everything negatively. Now, after two months since the outbreak, situation here has stabilized. People are already back to the office wearing masks, more traffic on the road, and shopping mall restart, restaurants start to get queued during the weekend. Also, logistic bottleneck get relieved. Obviously, we are still waiting for the fundamental solution. It could be a vaccine, a new biologic medicine, etc. But I do see a clear sign that we have touched the button and move into a recovery mode. As you all know, the natural gas or LNG is an important part of our investment portfolio in Cobas. And Asia repairs represents a very big part of LNG demand, both for the existing demand as well as the growth outlook for the future. So we are following it very closely. And there are four comments I would like to make on this topic. Number one, when we look at LNG demand, Japan, China, South Korea and Taiwan. These four countries combined account for some 60% of global LNG demand. And interestingly, these four countries handle the virus issue relatively well. I think likely thanks to their experiences in the past, for example, the SARS outbreak in 2003. Many people here still have the memory of SARS and they know they have to take it very seriously from day one. Also, the healthcare system uh, will Better, better prepared in this kind of situation compared to the rest of the world. Point number two, we follow the gas demand closely with downstream gas distributors. For the short term, what we heard is a very clear button in February and a recovery in March because most of the factory are coming back to work, especially in the southern part of China. For the mid to long term, what we heard is coal to gas conversion is a long-term strategic target for the Chinese government to make China a cleaner country and to make its development more sustainable. As a matter of fact, natural gas account for, account for less than 10% of the energy source in China and the government has a target to bring it up to some 15% in mid-term. That ambition remains unchanged. Point number three here, Looking at Japan and Korea, overall, we see the demand in Japan and Korea are generally stable for the data we checked. For the first two months in 2020, Japan imports 5% less, but Korea imports 20% more LNGs. It seems to us Korea is taking advantage of the low gas price on the spot market. Fourth point. I would like to mention a positive dynamic, which is the recent drop of crude oil price. The price of most LNG imports to Asia is linked to crude oil price. So a lower oil price will translate into a low gas price in the near future. While we have not yet seen any concrete evidence for that, we think like that may support gas demand growth in the near term, and we will keep following that. We own about 11 companies and uh, they account for some 15, uh, 13% of our portfolio in international. And more than 80% of them has net cash position or very little debt. So basically, 
they have very safe balance sheet to weather any kind of environment economically. And in terms of valuation, those 11 companies that we own are currently trading below three times earnings. Some of them have even more net cash than their market cap, which presents significant value to invest at good price. Lastly, 10 of those 11 companies we own are with the family behind. And we should expect the family to do sensible things in difficult times like this. In fact, the new chairman of Hyundai Motor Group reportedly bought company shares worth of 41 billion Korean won in the last five, five uh, trading days. We think it's a very sensible move to take advantage of the low price. To sum up, regarding virus, while there are still many unknowns about the duration and when we will have a fundamental solution, but I think we have passed the button and activities start recovering in China. For the gas demand, we see recovery in the short term and for the mid long term, there seems no fundamental change regarding its growth outlook. Lastly, while we cannot predict, but we can prepare prepare our portfolio for all kinds of environments and to take advantage of opportunities that markets present to us. I hope this video will be helpful to you and I hope everyone will stay healthy and we will all pass this very soon. Thank you very much.